Hey YouTube, how you doing? I am doing a packing video straight out to NATO B. She wanted to see what I packed in my bags. So this is the first bag. This is my check bag. This is a 30 inch duffel bag. I got it from Walmart under $30. I got it because it has a lot of pockets on it. So we'll go through all the pockets first. In this top pocket, I have my dryer sheets, my Aleve, big bottle of Aleve, and hand sanitizer. I'll probably get some more. But hand sanitizer, can't have enough. Don't know when you can't wash your hands. In this one here, in this top slot, I just have some um, headbands that I made. Oh, pulled out my sewing machine, made a couple of headbands for my hair. And then in here are my underwear. Now, ladies, I found these when I was working out at Dollar General. These are the best. They wick away the wetness and the moisture. And if you're a big girl, yeah, you need these. I use these all the time. I got them in tons of colors. I have 16 pairs of underwear fit into my little pouch here. Boom, I got enough. On these side pockets, here we go. This one, Gas X. Never know when you're going to eat something to give you that gas. Got to get rid of it on that small truck. Cotton swabs and hair things for my hair. In this pocket, I have my workout bands and my resistance ropes so that I can work out while out on the road. I want to keep my workout going. And this one is all my medicines, my Claritin, and my nasal spray. And I, my husband got these from work. These are some earplugs for the loud reefer. So what I did was I had my doctor give me 90-day refills on everything. So that I have 90 days worth of prescription meds going on the road with me. And I don't have to worry about running out of my meds. On the other side is another large pocket. In this pocket, I have my socks. I have 14 pairs of socks. I have my deodorant, air freshener. Hey, you know, you're tight on them trucks. Got to spray somebody. <laughs> I am not opposed to spraying people while they sleep. <laughs> this, I also got my body wash. I love body wash, so I love the liquid body wash. All right, now let's open up the main compartment. And as you can see, I still have room in here. See, it's flat, so I still have some room there where I can put some more stuff if I needed to. I have my heating pad. Never know when you're going to need that, right? Okay. Some more scarves that I made for myself. These are the big scarves to cover my whole head. This is my sweat vest. Oh, man, this really makes you sweat. I really love it. Bought it off of Amazon for, I think, like $24. Gloves. Dollar General, thank you very much. And another set of gloves from Dollar General. So I'm not sure which ones I'll need. Plastic bags. Don't ever leave home without them. Never know when you're going to need them. Now, all of my shirts and things, as you can see, are rolled up to save space. So, these are my workout jackets for when it's chilly. So, I can always throw one of these on if I'm chilly out on the road because this weather is up and down now. I have all my shirts rolled. And I wear mostly tank tops. So, I had to go to the thrift store to pick up some regular stuff. So, these are some long sleeve shirts that I picked up. Uh, so that I can have two or three long sleeve shirts. And then these are all my tanks all rolled up. So I have 16 tank tops all rolled up in here. And they're stacked in, rolled up. And I wear mostly yoga pants. So I have all my yoga pants rolled up in here. And I have... Not all of them, but I didn't bring all of them that I have at home. But I have 10 pair of yoga pants that are rolled up in here. This is my night clothes. Yes, I like to wear night clothes. And I don't wear regular bras anymore because they pull too much. I wear sports bras. So I packed my sports bras. I have eight sports bras in here. My 
night clothes, my swimsuit. Never know if I'm going to get to a hotel, stay in a hotel, be stuck in a hotel, and they got a swimming pool. I want to get in a swimming pool. So I have my swimsuit. It doesn't take up that much space in your bag. I also, while I was at the thrift store, picked up some shirts, some sweaters. I picked up one sweater, a sweatshirt, and a tank top. So I have those in case the weather gets cold somewhere and I need them. My belt. Love my belt. Extra charging cords. You never know where your charger cord is going to go out on you. You don't want to have to buy them at truck stops. I got three six-foot cords for $7 off of Amazon. My sunglasses. I don't really wear jeans. So at the thrift store, again, see the thrift store tag? Ha -ha. Everybody know that if you ever been to a thrift store. I picked up four pairs of jeans. So I have four pairs of jeans. In case I need to put on some jeans over top of my yoga pants, it's too cold outside. And then I bought a pair of uh, uh, basketball shorts that I can just throw on if I want to be comfortable. Maybe I want to sleep in them. Maybe I just want to drive in them. Maybe I just want to wear some shorts, but I don't because I don't like shaving my legs, okay? My fanny pack. I bought my fanny pack so that when I get out the truck, my idea is that I put my ID and my credit cards in here and my cash in here and strap it on my waist and I've got my fanny pack. So that way I'm not carrying my purse into a truck stop. This is my main bag. This will be my checked bag. stuff back in. Make sure everything has its place. There's a place for everything. Alright, let's get that back up. The thing I like about this is it's on wheels too. So this has wheels on it with the handle that come at the top. Now here's my carry-on bag. In my carry-on bag you will find, oh, I didn't show you, but my shower shoes are in here on the side because I didn't unpack my bag all the way. So my shower shoes are in here on the side. Let me show you what my shower shoes look like. My shower shoes fit right here on the side. 99 cents, Walmart. That's all you need for shower shoes. All right, now this is my check this will be my carry-on bag this is my container for my CPAP machine you can see my CPAP machine right there my mask and my CPAP, CPAP machine will go in this bag right here and here I have my towel my dental picks ink pens a folder with all my information in it my birth certificate my marriage license my bank account information all of that is in one folder an extra bra extra pair of panties that I didn't fit over there and another night shirt tablets for taking notes while in the truck or in class my eyeglass cleaning solution my um, clips for doing my dreads. A small thing of gain uh, laundry detergent, the pods, because they won't leak or anything. So I bought these so that I could do my laundry while out on the road. Lotion. Now, this is not what's on the bottle. It's just regular lotion filled up when it's empty. <laughs> when this bottle got empty, I put regular lotion in here. It's just regular lotion. Ladies, your summer eve on the go. All right, all right, we know what that's for. If you don't, hit me up in the inbox, I'll educate you. Pond's facial cream, so I can keep my face moisture and try and get away, make sure that I don't get a lot of bumps out there on the road, a lot of acne. An extra toothbrush holder in case I need to hold something in it. I was thinking maybe I could hide my tampons in it when I go into the truck stop, but I have something else better for that. This is my facial cleanser right here.
That's it for the main compartment. On the side, I have my. You want to make sure you bring your um your women things, your womenly stuff. This is for my toothbrush. This right here, I got in the Bahamas when we went to the Bahamas last year, and I put my tampons in here. So my tampons are highly discreetly hiding hidden there. This is a one of those travel size bottles that you get like from Walmart and stuff. Actually, this came from CVS. It was 99 cents. And I filled it up with my shampoo. So that's my shampoo so I can wash my hair. I'm lactose intolerant, so I have my lactate pills. All right, now. Yeah, I want to eat ice cream and dairy products, so I have my lactate pills. This is what is in my side compartment. In this other side compartment, I have my mouthwash. I have my school bag with my pens and pencils in it, an extra charge, an extra charging port. Now I went to Walmart and got this. I think it was like ten dollars. It's a really high, powerful one, and it has two extra charging ports on it, so I can always charge whatever I have. And then index cards, so that I can do my. You see, I'm writing on them before here. This is all my index cards for my uh, pre-trip. My extra pair of reading glasses. An extra pair of regular glasses. In this glass case, I have my cleaning solution and my cleaning wipe for cleaning my glasses. My face scrub to clean my face with my... Yay! <laughs> all right. Oh my God, I so love this. So I rarely use lotion. I use in-shower lotion, and I love this. CVS is the only place I can find it. it costs $8, but I love it. You use it in the shower, quick, easy, you done. This is an extra charging port that I purchased. It's a heavy-duty one. It gives you five times... The charging strength or whatever. So I can charge my phone five to six times over on this. And I bought this for that long 25 and a half hour Greyhound bus ride. My pill box where I divide all my pills every day. So I know that I've taken them. My scrubbing brush for my feet when in the shower. And I think that is it for my carry-on bag. Yep, that's it. My toothpaste is in the bathroom right now because I brush my teeth every day. Along with my toothbrush, so when I get ready to leave, I'll put those in my bag. But there you go. That's how you pack your bag like a champ. If there's anything that you think that I missed, hit me up in the comment section. And I most certainly will add it to my bag. How about that? Hopefully this helped you figure out what you need to pack in your bag. And how to get yourself settled and ready to go make this money. <laughs> it's all about the dough. Let's get out there on the road and make this money. And as a side note, Nato B, one thing I forgot to include in what I did to cleanse was apple cider vinegar. I use apple cider vinegar every day. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to your favorite beverage. Whatever that beverage is. Sometimes I use grape juice. Sometimes I use V8 strawberry banana juice. I don't like the straight V8 tomato juice. I just use their, their juice mixes. And you won't even taste the apple cider vinegar. I use the unfiltered organic kind that I get from raw foods. So if you have any questions, any comments, put them in the box. Hit the like. If you like the video, like D-Boy Stan say, if you don't like the video, hit the like button. Somebody else might like it. <laughs> Subscribe, share, ask me anything that you want, and I'll answer it. Have a good day, y'all. Bye.